Well, a woman from Westchester especially grateful this Thanksgiving. Yeah, she became the first person in the world with HIV to receive a heart transplant from an HIV positive donor. Antoine Lewis says more on this life saving gift. Family reunions are always special. This one even more so for 62 year old Miriam Nieves. She's meeting the family of the donor who gave her a second chance at life. I can't express enough that if it wasn't for the donors. Nieves is the world's first HIV positive to HIV positive heart transplant recipient. She contracted HIV in her early 30s while battling drug addiction. In 2006, a kidney cancer diagnosis led to the need for a kidney transplant. While waiting for a match, doctors discovered her heart was deteriorating as well and also needed replacing. She went on the wait list for both a heart and a kidney. Then in April, she got a call. A match had been found in Louisiana when 30-year-old Brittany Newton, a nursing student, had tragically passed away. Brittany was also HIV positive. She had a very sweet, helpful, forgiving, and protective spirit. She was truly loved by her family, and to know her was to love her as well. A skilled team of specialists at Montefiore Einstein in the Bronx performed the double transplant surgery over the course of two days in April, implanting the heart on the 13th and the kidney a day later. Her story exemplifies how important it is for more people to consider becoming organ donors in order to help many who are waiting on the list. Tuesday was the first time Miriam met Brittany's family who flew in from Louisiana. Doctors gave the Newton stethoscopes to hear Brittany's heart beating inside Miriam's chest. It came at the right time. I hate the way that it came, but it came at the right time for my child still walking around. My kids benefit from this greatly, and I have four. My brother's kids benefit from this. We benefit from this. God placed Brittany in my life so that I could have this second chance and be manufactured. From the Bronx, Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News.